In this video, we will be looking at prompt weights, guidance scale, and image sharpness. You'll learn how to make your images more vivid, and also textures more sharper. We'll start by exploring prompt weights, which are exactly what they sound like. Let's take a sample prompt. Woman on a cliff. During sunset. Stable diffusion will break this down into its main keywords. Woman, cliff, and sunset. Each of these keywords has a default weight of 1, so, if we separate the keywords, we get woman with weight of 1, cliff and sunset with the weight of 1 respectively. Let's generate the image. As expected, we get an image with a woman, a cliff, and a sunset. Notice that the sun is slightly cut off in the generated image. What if we want to emphasize the sunset? We can select the keyword, press Ctrl or Command on Mac, plus up arrow, to increase the weight. The default weight is 1. Pressing the up arrow key will increase the weight. Now, the generated image focuses more on the sunset. Conversely, we can decrease the prompt weight by selecting the word, pressing Ctrl or Command on Mac, plus down arrow. Stable diffusion will then focus less on that keyword and more on the others. In this case, the woman becomes in the center, and the sunset is out. Let's try increasing the weight of the cliff. The generated image, having a cliff in center, and sunset at the side, as per the prompt. In real-life applications, this feature is particularly useful when we want to emphasize or de-emphasize specific objects. For example, if we want the woman to wear a necklace, we can add the keyword necklace and generate an image. If we want the necklace to be the main focus, we can increase its weight. Now, the necklace becomes the central element of the image. Let's exploring advanced settings now. Before we dive in, let's generate an image of a traveler near a waterfall. As you can see, the results are stunning, but did you know that you can fine-tune these images by adjusting two advanced settings in Focused? To access them, click on the Advanced tab and then click on Advanced again. Here, we have two settings, Guidance Scale and Image Sharpness. Guidance Scale, Balancing Creativity and Realism. Guidance Scale determines how closely stable diffusion adheres to the original prompt. A higher value gives stable diffusion, more artistic freedom, resulting in more varied, detailed, and vivid images. For example, if I increase the guidance scale to 7 and generate the image, you'll notice that the resulting image is more detailed and vibrant. However, there's a trade-off. Stable diffusion may become too creative and forget the logic of the real world, leading to unrealistic elements in the image, such as trees growing over rocks or strange waves in the waterfall. If I increase the guidance scale even further, to 26, and generate, the image becomes even more extreme and unrealistic. While it's interesting to see the creative possibilities, it's essential to strike a balance between artistic freedom and realism. By adjusting the guidance scale, you can find the perfect balance for your specific use case. Now, let's explore the image sharpness setting. Unlike guidance scale, a higher value here means a sharper image. But what does that mean in practice? Let's take a look. As I increase the image sharpness, hit generate, you'll notice that the edges of the image, such as the waterfall and trees, become more defined. The background details become more pronounced, 
and the overall image takes on a more vivid quality. If I max out the image sharpness, the contrast becomes even more pronounced, and the details are highly emphasized. However, this may not always result in a visually appealing image. One scenario where high image sharpness can be useful is when working with specific styles, such as creating a watercolor-inspired image. By adjusting the guidance scale and image sharpness, you can achieve a more balanced look. Such settings can enhance the overall image. If I keep the settings the same and generate a cinematic image, you'll see that we can achieve a highly realistic result. For the most part, the default values for these settings will suffice. However, if you want to add more color or sharpness to your images, feel free to experiment. Now, let's move on to image-to-image -image generations.